Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in today's video, we're going to be doing something completely different that I don't think I've ever done here on the channel. But I was watching a video today and I got about halfway through it and I thought it was absolutely amazing. And I thought, look, I need to kind of share this, sit down and react to this with my audience because this person is someone who's you know he's obviously incredibly smart he does incredibly well but in a completely different kind of business model which is twitch and obviously he has a merch store so what he went out there and did was an absolutely genius move which we'll find out here in a second when we're re reacting to the video i'll let him explain it but i thought look i need to share this with my audience it's something that i think maybe some of you guys could utilize if you have print on demand ideas or brands even you just have a, a brand an e-commerce brand this strategy that this person used is absolutely genius and honestly he did pretty well with it but there's also a lot of things that i've seen in the video where i think he could have done much better to make more money and i know he was probably just doing this to make a piece of content however you could go out there and do this to actually propel and start your brand so let's go ahead and watch this video if you guys enjoy it you do want to see more of these kind of like reaction type videos then go ahead hit the like button hit subscribe if you're new here it's honestly the first time i've done this so i'm kind of curious to see how you guys actually react to something like this on the channel but let's go ahead and start this video it's from a guy named ludwig i will leave all of his links and stuff down in the description so you can check him out if you're into you know gaming or, or twitch or whatever uh he's a he's a pretty funny streamer so let's go ahead i'll start the video and he can kind of explain what he's going to do and then we'll react to this on the way through but this is a genius marketing move all right i just had an amazing idea look we all know if you go to twitch.tv if you go to anybody's stream right now who's like a moderately big streamer there's a chance you'll hear something that sounds kind of like this this is gonna we're gonna hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys did you hear that let's play it back one more time yes sir we in this jungle so that's finish. text to speech it's a on completely twitch. random person on the internet who gave xqc the biggest streamer in the world right now like five dollars and with that five dollars in exchange for giving him a bit of currency he's allowed to broadcast any message he wants now there's a lot of examples of people using this for jokes or a couple of months ago we seen burger king do this and when burger king did it they got a lot of backlash from it but i think that was kind of part of their tactic in that campaign i don't even think that actually donated the streamers i think it was kind of all fact and then the actual ad was just that and then it got a lot of heat from streamers because they thought it was kind of scummy to go and promote on their text to speech to me it always seemed like fair game i thought it was smart but then he's gonna take it a little bit further and i think the way that he does it is actually kind of tasteful it's kind of funny and it kind of works extremely well and kind of gets everybody on board where people aren't going to be kind of pissed off about it so let's continue on maybe for bad or maybe just for annoyance but i think today we can use it to market merch brand new from the ground up to an actual profitable company. I, I was thinking, because I was sitting there and I was like, what if I just spammed a link to merch? What if I just self-promoted? By the way, I'm not using my own merch for this. In any proceeds I do make, probably. So that's cool as well. He's not using his own merch. He's not using his own brand name. I think he's almost a million subscribers on YouTube and he's huge on Twitch. So he has a lot of brand recognition around himself already. But what he's doing here today has nothing to do with that. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. You could have no social presence at all. You can do this and it would get the same results, right? So let's continue. We won't be that much. I'm just so he ends up going here. He talks about his merch and stuff. And then he goes through and makes the design. I think the first things first is the designs actually kind of cool. So if we go in here, I'm going to show you just like the Photoshop thing that he pulls up. Um, but right here, you can see so that's our he's design. created here. It's a little Twitch zero viewer sign. And 95% of people who stream on Twitch probably get zero viewers on the regular basis. Not many people are just like the top of the top and it's the cream of the crop 3%, maybe 4%, 5% of people on Twitch get a lot of viewers. And then the rest, like myself, they don't get that many, right? We don't get that many over down there, but it's fun to do. And that kind of makes this a really cool gift or a really cool thing to, for people to buy just for the memes, right? If someone's on a zero viewer stream and they wear their zero viewer hat, it's kind of funny making fun of yourself, right? And also, it's a kind of cool gift that maybe someone would get their friend for Christmas because they stream all the time and they get zero viewers. So, hey, here's a hat that has zero viewers on it, kind of just making a meme out of them, right? It's kind of funny. So, the hat design here is already great, and that's great in itself. Now, we're going to export that. He's going to go to our friend Shopify. So, he goes through here, he creates like a, a new email account and stuff. We don't need to watch that. But he goes ahead, he signs up over here on Shopify, and then he ends up over here on Printful, and this is where he's going to create his design. So I think so he's using Printful as his merch provider. Hats. 
Snapbacks for like high schoolers, truckers are for people who drive trucks or play baseball. Uh, both of which I don't think hang out on Twitch too much, but I could be wrong. So we're going to go with that hats. The black. Bad hat we're going to throw to the design uh, down and we're going to see what it looks like. Add this will make me rich. Why does it look orange? Oh, you get to pick the thread color. So I'm going to pick red for my thread color. So it actually looks kind of nice when you great. see it when it comes up that like threaded. Uh, actually it actually really looks really, like really good they on Printful. They do a mock-up for you. Again, not an ad for Printful. I just recommend you use whatever you prefer. Start streaming. So Embrace again, he goes in here. He kind of talks about that. And kind of puts that psychology, psychological kind of marketing tactic in there. Right. Of, Perfect you know, copy. Go your right. friends. That's, they just start streaming at zero viewers. People Pretty good plan. Either know someone in their life. This next part is where I think he really made his first mistake. Well, I think his first mistake was using uh, Printful. Let's with but free due to the next well. part. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Great. So, so we can see here the price of a hat on Printful is fifteen ninety five. And look, I've never really sold hats. It's not been a product I've got into, but I know for a fact that look, Printful is quite expensive from the get go on certain products. We have seen in the past that on certain prints, frame prints and stuff, that can be cheaper than other competitors. But I know for a fact, fifteen ninety five for a hat is pretty damn expensive, and we can definitely get that cheaper somewhere else. And that's before shipping. I think he ends up paying like twenty two dollars, something ridiculous, for the shipping uh, on these products, and he makes pretty much zero margins before any advertising costs. So, like, imagine trying to run this on Facebook, where you've got a dollar profit that you have to get sales within. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, but on Twitch, he's going to be spending money to donate to the streamers. And right here, this is the first mistake. So if he could find hats at like maybe $5 with $5 shipping, which I think is probably possible, um, then I would go with that. Or even if he could get it at $15 total shipped out, because he's also, he's not going to charge shipping on his actual product on a Shopify store. The hat cost me $15.95 to make, uh, as well as shipping. I have to incorporate both of those. We'll do 25 25 with free shipping should cover me on all shipping bases. And that seems like a pretty fair price for a hat. Great. So now we're going to wait for that to be made. And we're going to add one more product. We are going to add a shirt this time. So let's go to shirts. Click and drag over our design. And I think it would be nice, yeah, to do it right Drop here. Bad boy so there. now this is an embroidered t-shirt. This will actually turn out pretty nice, I think. All right. And then we'll run it like that. And we'll say, Humegalol embroidered t-shirt i'll do the same margin so he goes he does all the pricing you know here how blah 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 really and then he sets sucks. up uh, a shopify store so downloaded. all of us we know how to set up shopify stores if you don't tons of tutorials on my channel on how to do it uh super super quick to do but right here he does something again which i think is just so so smart and he's going to get him kind of on side with the streamer and kind of make it kind of funny for the streamer as well so oh, let's take a look here and let him explain exactly what he's doing so let's go back a little bit i think Maybe Humegalol in large text. And then let's add some mock testimonials. So we'll say this is from uh, Ms. Kiff. As so Ms. Kiff is a really big streamer that he's going to use to do the text to speech. And too. now Humegalol due to my sister no longer appearing in my streams. <laughs> this merch has made me whole again. So the plan right now is I'll just have a picture of whoever's TTS I use as who so this is week, really really smart i switch per so what he's going to do is essentially go to this person's stream and say hey you're on the front page of you know my website mywebsite.com whereas most people will go out there and like if we went through and we did this they would go out there and just spam their link in the text to speech like hey go to blah 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 to get xyz and no one likes that that's just blatant self-promotion and no one likes self-promotion you see it in you know youtube comments you see it everywhere and I don't think it really works too well. But when you do it in a funny way or you do it in a way that gets everyone on side, it works a lot better. So that's what he's doing. He's going there. He's kind of tricking them. Yes, he is tricking them, but in a way that's funny, right? And these guys can obviously take a joke. They're probably made fun of all day, every day on Twitch, right? So they can take that joke and it kind of brings everybody on board. And it's fun content for the stream. So he goes and show, I'll show you exactly what he does right Person, here. Person, I'll switch whoever's picture it is. So maybe we'll start with Ms. Kiff. And then I'll just have this picture. Just a lovely of Lizzie, photo of him. The best photo you can find of him. We'll go ahead and swap when we switch to XQC or who else. Wow. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So now when you click it, it'll bring you to Miz's stream. Wow, this is going so much better than I thought it would. Not that I thought it'd go bad, but you know. All we need to do now is market this merch. Now, so the this goal is the exciting part. Is to just sell one item. If I can get one person out there to buy one item, it will have been worth it. 
All right, so I'm logging into my PayPal, but it'll be my business PayPal, so we shouldn't immediately know that it's me. But for now, Mizkif, I'm sorry. Hey, man, love the channel. Hope the Pokemon run goes great. Uh, we should hang out sometime, bud. But I do need to use your channel for a moment. So now I'm Dr. Cockter. So this is how you do like I did Nash on Twitch. Make the message and what he writes here is absolute XQC genius, Overwatch right? This is psychological is genius. Dream. You are on the front page of who Megalol. So what he's done there is use two separate things. The first, the biggest thing is just saying, you're on the front page of humegalol.com. And that's just playing into anyone's ego. You go to anyone's stream and say, hey, you're on the front page. It's like those little spammy things you get on Facebook where, you know, your friend gets hacked and they send you a thing saying, look at this photo of you, go check it out. And then people are like, oh my God, what is this photo of me? And they go and click on it. And this is the exact same thing. It's like, you know, you're on the front page of humegalol.com, even though you don't know what humegalol.com is. It's not like you're on the front page of the Washington Post or the front page of you know reddit whatever it is they're big known names even though it's some random website you're like well what's going on what's going on i want to see it plays into their ego and then they also adds in saw on xqc stream so that's another kind of thing that's giving it trust a little bit of trust xqc is another huge streamer he was on this website looking at this and i'm on the front page what is it and it you know kind of sparks curiosity in his head and he has to go look at it all dot com omegalol and then i donate that so even if it doesn't read this out, because it actually doesn't read out website URLs, it might read out the .com. And if that also fails, it'll be on the screen so people will know where to go. And so then if I hit tip, it worked. So on this goes stream, you are on the front page of Fumegalol.com. Oh my god. Wait, I'm on the front page of Fumegalol.com. Oh my god. He says it as if like, I'm so oh nervous. yeah, Fumegalol.com. <laughs> Wait. So now... He's opened this up on his stream in front of 20,000 people. That's insane marketing. On Facebook, what are you paying? Like 10, 20 dollars sometimes for a thousand impressions. He's just got 20,000 impressions for five dollars. That's pretty good CPMs, boys. <laughs> Who mega law of the week? Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the girl's like, what's that? What is that? And look, see, like what he's done here, it's funny for everyone. He thinks it's hilarious. He's laughing. He's going to read his little review out here. And everyone on the stream is seeing this website. <laughs> As a former top streamer and now who Megalol due to my sister no longer appearing in my streams, this merch has made me whole Let's see again. chat. Let's Dude, see chat. Dude, send me some merch, man. Wait, this see, is he's cool. taking it really well. Send me it's funny. <laughs> That's actually a nice... Dude, I'd buy that. I'd wear it. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I fuck with this heavy. Oh, my God. Dude, cool. Okay, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> and everyone in the chat over here is putting like the little zero viewer emote in the wait, chat. Wait, I better get a free shirt for being Homegalol. Hold up. Okay, so that was exposure in front of 20,000 people. Let's check right now by... So he's going to go into his Shopify stats. And this is kind of bonkers because guys, look, we've all been there where we've created a Shopify store. Uh, we launch our first ads. We try and promote it. And we're trying to get our first visitors. Never mind our first sales. He started this four minutes ago. Opened his store two going minutes marketing. ago. Oh my God. Wait, the number doesn't seem to have updated, but I, it says 100 I, I have a hundred people 15, on my 120, website right 121 now. Visitors. I made this website an hour ago. Fucking I already insane. have a hundred people on the site. There are three people with things in their cart. Three people are checking out. Wait, did I just get an order? Okay, no, I just got, I just got some pages. Please wait. We've mind, all been here. We've all been here on this right dashboard. This is my order. People are so checking out. Are we going to get seals? Are we going to get seals? Yet. But we have a hundred people on the website. Just from Mizkif pulling up. Wait, we got an order. We got an order. <laughs> That's so he awesome. We just bought a hat. We got our first. Believe it or not, Jonathan down here, he's down in the comments. I really was the first order. 10 out of 10 would and we'll get skimized again. <laughs> so Order. Oh my God, that was so easy. Dude, he just pulled it up. He just pulled it up in front of. We got That's insane. Like. To get 141 visitors, obviously when you're doing like Instagram posts and stuff like that, you can do this and do something very similar very quickly. But the way he did this is so new, so different. I think it's absolute genius. Another order! We got two orders! There are seven people checking out though. If they convert, that'll be so big. We just got another order. We just it, uh, it updated here. Yeah, we just got 24, another order. 24, 24. Three orders. Three orders right, in right, already? From Europe. Oh my God, dude. We just got another order from just that one minute of Miskip having it on stream. We have four orders total now. I can't believe this works so well. Let's see if I can 
That's insane. That's absolutely genius marketing. Look, this is where he got it so wrong. So, so wrong. One, I probably would have charged shipping, right? I would go ahead and charge shipping on this um, because he's getting orders from like all around the world. He gets a couple from Australia and stuff. Right here, we can see your customer pays $24. The printful price is $24.38. He actually lost money on this order before it was even sent out the door before his marketing cost before his shopify cost he was losing money so he didn't have the margins there he had to pay like a digitization fee the shipping is 399 there's tax on it uh so he had to pay all of these things and lost a little bit of money on this file order. digitization fee for the hat so i actually lost 38 cents on jonathan's order and then on dan's order i made my first profit i made four dollars because i didn't have to pay any fees I really hope that a lot of these like Twitch streamers and stuff are not doing this as the way to sell their merch. Like if they're making like a dollar a hoodie or a dollar a hat that they sell, that makes me kind of sad because they could be making so much more money. And obviously a lot of these guys have the money to go ahead and, you know, or either just arrange some printing facilities uh, or work with, you know, maybe a, a smaller kind of print shop that would you know kind of dedicate themselves to them and they could get so much cheaper prices and make so much more money i really really hope i doubt i highly doubt that his merch looks really high quality custom made stuff uh, i doubt they're doing print on demand for that but for something like this it works well but right here these hats are just too expensive different provider i'm actually gonna take a look give me two seconds i'm gonna take a look and see if i can find cheaper print on demand hats so it actually turns out pretty hard to find hats at like a reasonable price maybe that's why i've never drop shipped them or never print on demand uh, sold hats before I would definitely have went and maybe not used hats as your main product Although that might be what these guys really wanted But I think you could have done this with the t-shirt just as well Some people actually ended up buying the hoodie that he put on the site. So there's other options But yeah hats seem to be pretty expensive print-on-demand item to do I don't know whether that's just to do with like the manufacturing of them You know, there's a lot of embroidery and stuff here as well, which embroidery costs quite a bit to set up That's what the file digitization fee is for um, so yeah, it's maybe just expensive through hats. So maybe a different product would have been better for this challenge. On Lewis's order, I lost a dollar and I have to pay VAT, value added tax that EU Good has. Old VAT. So, so far, if you add up all my orders, I made five, four dollars, eight dollars, uh, I'll say seven, seven dollars. I've made about four dollars from all of my orders. <laughs> oh, I just got more orders. Hold up, refresh. I, I, but the I, amount I of orders, orders he's getting from this one text to speech donation. Oh my $56? God. Oh my. Well, how much is he making on a hoodie, right? He's probably lost money again on this hoodie. What was it? Why was the issue on that? So the hoodie cost $39.95 for a hoodie? It is a champion sweatshirt, so that's really good quality. Uh, but I think you could probably sell a, a lower priced one and, and still do just as well. $39.95, like, I don't know. I'm pretty cheap with like the clothes and stuff I wear. $39.95 for a hoodie is dear enough uh, to buy it just as a hoodie, but that's the cost I'm getting as a manufacturer. Nah, that's pretty dear, and he lost $6 on it. God, he bought the fucking sweatshirt. Oh, the sweatshirt's losing me money, though. I actually <laughs> lost money on the sweatshirt. I didn't have to pay a digitization from, uh, fee. It just costs $11 Australia. to ship to fucking Australia because this <laughs> motherfucker had to have lived in Australia. So I have made over 200 Imagine doing $218 in sales in your first one hour on Shopify through Twitch. Dollars in revenue my first Insane. day from 164 online sessions. And the, the conversion rate's amazing. I mean, this is only because it's directed. So you sold four t-shirts. You actually sold personal, more t-shirts. It's around like two, maybe 3%. And then from working at, I worked at a, a vape company that sold things from Shopify. So Don't before he's talking about the conversion but rate here, 4.8% is pretty percent. damn good. Uh, What's really interesting, because I always thought I've, I've never had access or been able to look into like any really big influencers shopify dashboard or their stats uh it was really interesting he he mentions here that he thinks his conversion rate on his store is about two to three percent and that kind of baffled me i thought it would have been much higher as someone who is you know kind of an influencer i thought people going to that site would be much more likely to purchase because we get two or three percent sometimes four or five percent on just a normal shopify store that we're driving cold traffic to which I thought, you know, you've got, you know, warm traffic, people who love you, people are coming to look at your merch. I thought the conversion rate would have been higher, but maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, so I think a 5% conversion rate is, it's insane. And it's because it's so targeted, right? This is targeted to the audience I'm selling to so directly. So now look, it's waning down. Nine we orders. ended up having seven orders. We had seven orders total. Oh my God, what a rush. 
And that was with Misk. If he had 20,000 viewers, let's see if we can get on XQC stream. So I think what really worked is baiting him by saying that they were on the, the front page bit. of the website. That bit is great. I absolutely love that. And they're, and they're, we're all a little vain. So let's just go to XQC. Let's get a picture so of he him. He knows. He knows. That's going to get you. You're going to go look at it. The who Megalol of the week. And then let's donate to XQC and see if it works again. You are on the front page of who Megalol dot com omega lol and then we'll just spam it a bit okay and then we'll spam, have omega lols fly when we do it let's see if xqc will give us the same treatment my donation went through to xqc i don't know how long it'll take to appear the problem is he there gets a is. lot of donations see like when you hear that it automatically triggers something in your head like well, what is it what is it what what is it? You want to go see it? You want to look at it and, and see what it is? I baited him. Oh, the image, the image of what? I bait. It worked. It, it worked. Everyone in chat is spamming so he's my like website. Asking link. chat, what is it? Now, what is he's it? He's mid run, so it's not like I expect him to to close out the website and open it up. But even without doing that, that is sixty thousand people who just heard that. Boys, there 60, are two hundred people on my people. website right now. Mizkiff pulled up my website, and one hundred thirty people showed up. Uh, it, that's a better conversion rate for his twenty thousand viewers. But XQC just said, what site? Everyone in chat's... That's just from going out there and mentioning it. That's absolutely insane. So he's 200 more live viewers on the site right now from a $5 donation. Spammed it. Links aren't allowed, but because it's Humegalol, they could just write the emo Humegalol and then .com. I already have 200 people on the website right now. Dude, this is insane. This is I did insane. not expect I, I this to I love this guy. This so guy's smart well. as fuck. Just really, really him smart doing that at marketing. had the influence no to send 200 people. No wonder he's done really well on Twitch. Holy fuck. 300, 300 boys right now. Okay, let's see if we can convert to any view, uh, uh, sales here. Let's see if we can convert to any sales. We got a, we got a fucking order. Oh my <laughs> God, Ben! Benny literally bought a hat and a sweatshirt. He went all out. Holy shit, Ben! Go on, Ben. I think Hassan is another person who can get easily baited, and I'm gonna see if we can get just a few more sales. That is not the one I want. Oh, this is a funny picture. Oh no, this is a funnier picture. <laughs> We're gonna give Hassan five bucks. I will call myself. No, I think he goes into this PayPal guy, PayPal and it didn't. Uh, the front didn't pan out. Off, but again, it goes into the chat. I'm waiting to it's see. Like dealing with it. I do the same exact thing. A lot of the time, TTS overruns. So the I think so he I didn't, didn't really... have TTS active right there, and it didn't uh, work out. Right, but let's go ahead and skip to the end here, where he's explaining like how much he made and stuff. But honestly. Absolute genius. Let me know right now in the comments what you guys think of this strategy and do you think it would be something that you could use for your brand? Would it work uh, in your kind of niche? And I just had to do this video because I love Twitch. I've been streaming for a little bit and you know, it, it's just insane. It's kind of a, a mix of my two worlds coming together and I thought it was really, really good. I really get the value I was looking for from that five bucks. But for the $15, I put in 15 bucks from XQC. I ended up getting 300 people on my website at once, okay? And then for Miz's stream, that five bucks, that five bucks I gave Mizkiff resulted in $200 of revenue because he pulled up my site and then complimented my merch. All within an hour. Look, I started recording an hour and 38 minutes ago. And about eight of that was just watching, was watching Hassan hoping that he would pull up my goddamn website. <laughs> but end of the day, this, this has been a wild success. We got eight orders total. Uh, let's take a look at our profit loss. I wonder how much total sales he did. Our total profit is the sum of he everything here, bit. which is $14.60. Now, bear in mind, I did free shipping, which maybe got us some more orders. Uh, I also had much lower margins than I normally would have. Uh, and there is some digitaz uh, digitization fees. And then if I adjust that to add the fee from Shopify and from the domain name and from the TTS... So after an hour and 45 minutes, when I first... He lost $43. But again, I think the hats and using Printful, which is probably the most expensive print-on-demand provider, he went out there and, you know, made his margins really, really slim. In terms of like a ROAS basis, spending $15 to make $269, what is that? That's like a 15x ROAS. That is absolutely wild. You're not getting that on Facebook unless that's red hot retargeting, right? So... He's done really well here. I thought this was a really cool video, a really cool concept, and could definitely, definitely be used 
uh, to kind of promote your video. And he's also super, super smart. Now, if you go to the website, humegalol.com, redirects to his merch store, this video has also been an absolutely giant marketing stunt where he's went ahead and got 726,000 views on this video. Absolutely insane. I thought this was a great video, so make sure you go and check out Ludwig. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this type of content where I react to videos like this, let me know. It's something different, something fresh here on the channel. I thought, let's do it. Uh, I thought the video was absolutely great. Really, really good video. I thought it was fun. And I thought the strategy, the marketing behind it was really, really cool. And I wanted to share it with you guys as well. If you haven't seen this, maybe you're not in that kind of niche and you'd never see this video uh, on YouTube. But go ahead, let me know in the comments what you thought. Hit like if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.